Aloha, food foresters, gardeners, friends of Mother Earth. This is Tutu at Aloha Food Forest. And last November, I started this little compost pile in a, a little like miniature pond or a billabong as I also sometimes call it. Um, it was a little, little pond I dug out during the rainy seasons to collect the rainwater and conduct it down into the water table. And this year we were having a very dry winter, so I decided to use it um, as an experimental compost pile location. So instead of having a pile on top of the ground, it's down in a hole that was already there. So now, let's see, so that was back in November when I started filling it up. I stopped filling it about a month ago and I have been digging a little bit of really nice compost out of it for planting new seedlings in a couple other places in the garden. But I wanted to turn around here or go over here and turn the soil over so um, we can see what's underneath here. So I'm just using, I'm using this, one of my favorite tools here. And I have to be careful because I have that microphone cord. Okay. So there is some very nice soil. Let's see, it's still got a lot of chunks in it. That's some of the old soil chunks. There's a lot of bugs in here. Let's see, there's that nice compost. And take some of these bigger things off. Those could go in the firewood pile. Oops. And this big stuff. Okay, well, it's definitely loose. It's definitely a huge deep hole with soil. What is that? I'm hitting something hard there. Some wood. Yeah, I like it. It's still a little bit um, com not completely composted, but I think it's going to be fun to give it a try. So set that down. Here's this lovely tomato. This is called Mont Favre. I had their, I had the little name tag for it somewhere. Let's take a look at it. Okay, this was grown by a local here and it's a bush type tomato. So it's perfect for planting. The roots are just to the right level where they're not wrapping around and around yet. So 
So I'm going to go ahead and put this in our tomato bed. This is our tomato growing bed. Just tuck it in there. Whew. This is exciting. I hope it goes well. So this is an experiment. This is based on George Washington Carver's recommendations on how he would do his composting, except I kind of changed it to make it a hole in the ground instead of above ground. Um, and I hope I got it composted long enough, but we shall see. <laughs> All right. And since this is a bush type, I'm gonna wait and see how it performs, whether it needs a trellis or not. But anyway, that's so fun. I'm glad spring came and we get to try out the garden bed. It really, it was a big, huge mound and now it's sunk way down in there. So that's a good sign. All right. Well, I'll give you another update on this later. I hope you're having a good day. Remember that we live on a planet of infinite abundance. We are not in lack. And that in nature, all the creatures have a, an important part to play. Everyone's important. All the biodiversity is there to make the world go better. So, I hope you're having a good day. And I'll see you another time soon.